Okay. <laughs> Want to thank you guys for all the support so far on the Mr. GG plushie. He is still available, and we do still need a tiny bit to go to have the campaign fully funded. Go to makeshift.com and search Mr. GG. Link will be in the description. Cheers. Some people talk about Christmas movies during Christmas. I talk about disgusting things every now and then. And hey, I have a dartboard. Let's make the holidays terrible. Disturbing darts is simple. It's like a Reddit 50-50, except my dart skills, or lack thereof, will decide my fate. And unlike Pong, which I have still not miss a shot in, I'm pretty butt at darts. Now a Christmas movie I remember liking is 2006's Deck the Halls with Matthew Broderick and Danny DeVito. It's one of those movies that I'm sure has really aged comedy at this point, but I wouldn't mind getting a nice warm little coffee and watching it again. That movie is one of the options. Now a disturbing movie that I have refused to review, let alone watch, is August Underground. That is the other option. So excluding the credits, Deck the Halls is about 89 minutes long, and August Underground is about 68. So splitting those movies into five portions, this is what we're gonna do. Hitting any of these numbers with the big skeleton toads, shout out Bones Barbershop, will grant me the privilege of watching one fifth of Deck the Halls, which I will then report back to you. Also, once I clear one of them, they're no longer valid, but, Poor aim resulting in any of these numbers will force me to watch one fifth of August Underground. And the game does not end until I finish watching one of those movies. You might notice there's only four big toads. That's because the fifth one is the inner slash outer bullseye. So with the dark God's blessing, let's get jolly. Now I can say what I want, what I really, really want about playing mobile RPGs. But when Ray Shadow Legends hits me up, gives me bugs, I think maybe you've been good to me. Now I can say what I want, what I really, really want about playing mobile RPGs. The sponsor of this video, you can use my links below. Download Ray to your phone or the PC in your I'm home. I'm on my boss shit, no more dragging, we just left them running like a faucet. Now we got a Hydra that might just steal you losses. Six heads, each its own boss endeavor. I ain't had this much hits since ever. Now you got the head of blight that can poison your team. You might miss your first shot like an opening scene. Got the head of wrath that you don't really want to upset. Gains a new buff mid fight. Man, that's bullshit. Yo, I'm messing with Gallic. Magus can catch all this phallic. I attack him with the toxin like they shooting up. No Galica. It's simple what they're adding on. New champion in the Catalog. If you log in through these dates, you can copy it like a badge of honor. Say what I want, what I really, really want about playing mobile RPGs. Treasures waiting for you here, and those deals will disappear if you don't go down and click my link. There's seriously never been a better time to get started. Hit the link in the description or scan my QR code and you'll get an epic champion, Rector Drath, 200k silver, one energy refill and one XP boost and one ancient shard so you can summon awesome champions as soon as you get in game. And thank you, Raid Shadow Legends, for sponsoring this video. By the way, for those of you that care, I am properly spaced from the dartboard. I really am dog shit at darts. So I have like four vague corners that I can aim for and also the bullseye. Oh man, I should have fucking gotten some practice throws in before I just started doing this. Whew. All right, I'm gonna go top right here. I'm gonna absolutely just smoke it, easy. That was in the direction, respectable. That one was not in the direct, it's technically in the vicinity. Let's start watching August Underground. I'm bored. So I watched nearly 14 minutes of August Underground and it's worse than I thought it'd be. I'm not talking about disturbing wise. This isn't a whole pack of fun just yet. It's just boring and terrible to look at. It's a combination of begotten and hate crime. Begotten because it looks like shit and hate crime because the overacting is laughable. Seem to be a big fan of decapitation so far. They showed a guy without a dick for like four seconds. Didn't really add too much context on him. I was kind of curious about his story. And then they cut to the regular day. One of the dudes is like, yo, I know the location of this random woman hitchhiker. And they pick her up and then try to solicit 
you know, a bit of flashing from her, which they get. And then, uh, the driver, who's the real edgelord of the group, is, uh, oh, okay, I just need you to suck my dick. I just need you to do it, okay? I'm bricked up right now like crazy. You wouldn't believe it. My jeans buttons are about to burst. You need to suck my fucking dick first. He finishes, I think, and then just beats the shit out of her and kills her, I'm pretty sure. That might sound more intimidating than what it really is. Like, so far, tame. Subject matter, yeah, crazy out of this world, sure. This is sort of dog shit so far. Some notes I took are, hey, Ever wanted to watch a 3D movie without the glasses while also watching a shaky cam skit by edgelords? You've come to the right place. This movie is legitimately giving me a headache. It's like someone wanted to make porn and then realized they're not even that good at that. So they threw in this curveball of exploitation to try and justify its existence. <sighs> Let's go throw more darts and hopefully try and watch Deck the Halls. Well, that was honestly just kind of a waste of time, so. Oh, that's Deck the Halls. Not the one I was aiming for. I'm not even gonna lie to you. Not at all what I was aiming for. But that's Deck the Halls. Boom. What if this is worse than Mohawk's <laughs> Underground? So I just watched the beginning of Deck the Halls and aged. Yes. A lot of the jokes are just, I might as well be Neo from the Matrix because there's just not, uh, nothing's hitting. I did the <laughs> once and then I actually got like a ha, <laughs> but it wasn't because of the, any of the main characters. It's from a random car dealership boss. I'll get there. I mean, so far, standard 2000s comedy. There's slapstick humor. There's random salacious humor that doesn't really fit in there. Like Steve, he's outside in his robe and all of a sudden, I guess he has a just a raging boner. We just kind of gloss over it. I don't know. Steve is a person who really enjoys Christmas. He's just got a fat old chubby for it. Buddy moves in across the street and he's a car salesman who's also a bit of a schmoozer and he wants to be known he wants to be recognized for something he starts conjuring up the idea of wanting his house to be seen from space so like i just said most important part of what we just saw was the dealership boss only because his little boss parody shtick i don't even know if he's a great actor or if he's just good at that but something about the stupid little all right i'm all right <laughs> Sell, sell, sell. <laughs> All right. It's just so funny to me. Other than that, really just setting the stage right now. Let's throw more darts. If you've ever watched a bad content Pong episode, you know that I kind of change the rules sometimes in the middle of the video. I kind of want to do that right now. So I feel like these danger zones should always be valid, but I have to clear every individual zone of Deck the Halls. So this zone is cleared. I might as well keep aiming for the top right. Okay, too high, almost hit the plushie. Oh man, see I said I was bad at darts. The good thing is I was honest. I'm also not drunk. Sober Sally, baby, top right. Ugh, nope, Whew, follow through. Oh, the follow through is trash. That's where I'm fucking up, got it. There you go, see? The follow through was there on that. Get out of here. I'm gonna fuck up this dartboard by the end of this. I've probably used this dartboard three times. Oh my God. Okay, come on, dude. Give me a fucking mulligan here. No! Well. Time for more Argus Underground. Listen, I'll be honest. I abandoned the video yesterday and I, and I fell asleep. So it's 4 a.m. right now. I just woke up and I watched the next fifth of August Underground. This movie sucks. This movie sucks. This movie sucks. Spend like six minutes where this guy starts grabbing shit and just rubbing it on the victim girl who's there. And he's like, oh, ha, ha, hoo, I'll put it on a nipple, my guy. What am I watching? You can tell there's a healthy amount of improv in this movie. So when the guy's recording her, he like doesn't know what to do. They both just fondle the nipple repeatedly. The only nipple still attached. Fucking just shaking its hand over and over again. They do that so often because like that's what they resort to because they don't know what the fuck to do. But then to really get crazy, this guy decapitates her friend's foot and then decapitates the toe and then puts the toe in her mouth and duct tape her mouth and he's like you better eat that shit i can't take this movie seriously i genuinely cannot if that goes from that to like what seems like real footage of some random mosh pit in a club i don't know these guys names nor do i care the big dude he got like in a fight with like a group of like 30 dudes apparently they were all friends they're like oh yeah fuck you no fuck you no no fuck you no i said fuck you this line's kind of fun i'm fucking faggot would you come over here and fucking suck my dick yeah i bet you won't even as a joke! No, not you. No, 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 you go back. No, 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 I meant the guy with the dimples. And the fat ass. It's fucking over, man. It's over, man. Leave, leave, 
Did you not get filled in on your line, sir? This is the bouncer still trying to hold him back a mile from the club. And he walks with them even further. And when he's finally reached the blast zone limits, he just stops and says, yeah, Fuck you. It's like a Trevor Wallace skit. I knew this movie was gonna be trashy. I just didn't know it was gonna be Garbaggio Supreme. Let's shoot more darts. To be honest, at this point, I don't know what I want. I don't know if I'm so curious that I want to see the rest of August Underground, or I don't know if I want to chill and watch a Christmas movie. So I'm gonna go bottom right. I think I can slap that. Okay, that was too high. Okay, I'm consistent. Gotta be another dart. There's one more, one more, because I'm going lower and lower. Fuck, okay. I'm so used to bad content pong with this sort of thing that it's just like, oh, I just missed. It's fine. <clears throat> I don't think this video is gonna work. Okay, that one I felt good throwing. Also felt good throwing that. I should just fucking review August Underground. What am I doing? I have watched another fifth of August Underground, the masterpiece, the holy mecca, the greatest disturbing film of all time, some have said. This movie blows chunks. This movie blows dicks. This movie eats ass. This movie is bird poop. This movie is dirt on the ground. This movie is gum on my shoe. This movie is boring. So you know that tied up victim that had poop on her? Her name is Nora. She's been, she's dead. And they just cut scene. They go down there, Nora, Nora. Nora? And fucking forget about Nora. That's it. That person that we've been so focused on for the first 30 minutes of the movie. She's dead. Moving on. Now all of a sudden these guys go on this crazy Bonnie and Clyde serial killer rampage. But before that, they take us to a slaughterhouse to really scare off their PETA audience. I've never seen a film so desperate to offend. Because they go to a slaughterhouse like, oh, I bet you don't like dead animals, right? <laughs> Look around! Then they cut to where they're just casually mocking some religious figures like, Oh, I bet Christians are so mad right now. They kill an old lady that they helped out with some groceries. No one gives a shit about her. She, she dies. They take her keys. Then they annoy a gas station attendant. And then they kill him. And now they have two people in the gas station captive. I'm not Nostradamus. I'm pretty sure they're gonna kill him. So I'm excited to see what happens next. But I have a feeling that I'm about to absolutely clean house on Deck the Halls. At this point, I need to just, I need to just go pure Deck the Halls. I don't think I can do more August Underground. No, no, I'm just not doing it. Top left. It was top left. This is stupid. <laughs> I think the infamy of August Underground did not develop in this first part. I think all the shit I've heard about it probably has to do with the sequels. They probably get worse than whatever this is, and they probably get a little less shit as well. I don't know. That's me being optimistic. Those two gas station captives I talked about? Yes. Who would have thought they both died? Before that, though, they tortured them. It was terrible to watch. His boyfriend and girlfriend, by the way, he was like, you sniff her ass, right? Right now, sniff her ass. Put on your pants. You're gonna sniff her ass. And he's like, no, please. <laughs> Anything but that, please. And this fucking beta starts dry heaving when he's putting her nose by her. Like, he gets like two feet away from her asshole and he's just like, oh. <laughs> My guy was too fragile to even take a whiff. Clearly, he knows something we don't. I don't know if they're fresh off some Big Macs and coffee and he knows what's about to happen. They're like, all right, yeah, yeah enough of this. Yeah, no, we didn't really want to push this. Now you sniff his ass though. Yeah, pull this guy's ass down. Yeah, look at this asshole. Sniff his ass. And she does it like a champ and then she gets bonked with a toddler's bat and then they they kill the other guy and then one of the dudes goes up to the gas station attendant who's still bleeding out and he's like i think this guy wants to fuck me this guy wants to fuck me <laughs> this guy he wants to fuck me <laughs> your ass cracks so yeah <laughs> your ass cracks so <laughs> dude just fuck him already is this the ending we're building up to the worst smelling gay sex possible just have it be the rest of the movie i don't know why, why we're doing this slow build there are these random sudden crop-ins throughout the movie that i don't understand nor does it help me see anything when they do it because the movie looks like shit i'd rather be watching an actual snuff film and carry the trauma from that than watch this i don't think you guys realize i've been watching these two deuce just drive around visit places shop get tattoos but then oh wait that built up to them 
uh, kidnapping the two tattoo guys, which they didn't show. It's like, oh man, this is serious. We really cared about these two tattoo guys. Let's go finish it off. Some of you might be thinking at this point, hey, he just probably wants to watch August Underground. No, I don't. I'm bad at this, which kind of just defeats the purpose entirely, because I don't even have a chance to watch Deck the Halls at this point, but we're gonna still go for it. So I think I need to redeem myself at the very least by hitting a bullseye before I finish that piece of shit movie. Bullseye, baby. Imagine after all those shitty shots that you saw or may have not saw, depending on what the editor decided to leave in, which is probably all the shots. I'm gonna hit bullseye now. Doesn't that piss you off? A little more to the left. A little more to the left. A little more to, ah, oh, fuck. That's a danger zone, dude. No! Really fucking gave you guys a nail biter on that one. Oh man, that was so close. Dude, you were so close to finishing Deck the Halls. I barely met Danny DeVito. Need to hit it once. Just to just to feel good about myself. And to know that it was it wasn't all for nothing. Ugh. How is it in that rando bando Vance Global ad where I said, hey, you wanna see a bullseye? Hey! You wanna see a bullseye? I got it closer than any of these shots. Sorry guys, we don't get to watch Deck the Halls. So I just finished August Underground and... <laughs> so those tattoo guys died. Then we cut to some prostitutes getting warmed up in this orgy with this copyright free garage band sex music playing in the background. And it's hilarious because they do this weird foreplay for the longest time because they're not gonna whip out any dicks or show any coochie. So this movie's really just hella like nipple fondling at this point. And I know what you're thinking, they're probably gonna kill them. Don't get ahead of yourself. This weird making out teasing orgy is the last fifth of the movie. I was sitting here thinking, just kill them, please, because then I know the movie's over. But it kept happening for 13 minutes. So one guy sleeps with one girl, the other one takes the other one downstairs, and he's just pounding her from the back with not only his hammer, but the actual hammer as well to her head, just bashing her skull, it's crazy. The girl comes in, she's like, ooh, that's what I'm talking about, because she doesn't see the the hammer and I think it was a total fuck up but they just left it in because he like pulls up his pants when she's coming down and hides the hammer but then pulls out the hammer again and then starts beating her head in and she's like oh my gosh Erica I know it sounds stupid what I'm saying but this is what happens and then the movie ends with them chasing that girl running out in the streets I'm still very much set that the infamy of this movie has to come in the sequels because there's no way this movie did anything we're a fucking snore fest and that's August Underground and man I'm sorry I couldn't watch more Deck the Halls. I tried genuinely. Happy holidays. If you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like. Here is your second reminder to please leave a like. Please subscribe because I have more content coming your way. Shout out to my lovely patrons for always supporting the boy. Buy the plushie. I don't have it on me right now. Mr. G Dubs, Mr. GG Live, other channels, more content. And as always, I am Mr. GG and I am out.